Throw this plastic soda bottle in the garbage. It will take 450 years to break down. As opposed to Derby, who breaks down almost instantly. <laughs> What's well, humiliating? Plus, I just had these pants clean. <laughs> anyway, that's why I asked to see what you could engineer out of old soda bottles. Let's start with you, Slab. <laughs> What's this? I turned a soda bottle into an empty bottle. <laughs> Do you want to know how I did it? No, I think I can figure it out. <laughs> oh, it burns. Uh, anyone else? Echo. <laughs> Did you copy off slab? Of course not. <laughs> Did anyone do anything besides bring in an empty bottle? I did. <sighs> it's a bottle of orange soda. Yeah. But it used to be root beer. <laughs> so you just poured another bottle of soda into this bottle? No. I ran out of time, so I just lied and said I did. But at least I brought enough for everyone. Uh, wait, Derby, that bottle's been... <laughs> Shaken. No one did the assignment. My students don't know how lucky they have it. I'm young, I'm cool, I speak their language. <laughs> Peace out, home roomies. Nobody speaks that language. They could have it a lot worse. Their science teacher could be some cranky old curmudgeon. In fact, their science teacher will be some cranky old curmudgeon. You can see into the future? <laughs> will Slap throw me in the garbage can tomorrow? Because I'll just wear these dirty pants again. Are you really complaining? You sprayed orange soda all over my clothes. Relax, a little club soda will get that right out. <sighs> Derby, this is grape. Yeah, they're all out of club soda. <laughs> it's five seconds after nine. Mr. Young's not here yet, so I can only assume the worst. He'll be here shortly. <laughs> what are you gawking at? Why don't you paint a portrait? It'll last longer. <laughs> Are you lost? I'll walk you home. <laughs> I'm not lost. I'm your substitute teacher, Mr. Alderman. <laughs> Take your seat, little missy. Same goes for the rest of you, rapscallion scoop. <laughs> it's time to learn. So get the wax out of your noggin flaps. <laughs> I cleaned my noggin flaps this morning. <laughs> Along with my snot launchers. <laughs> Don't be sassing me. I warn you, I do not take any guff. What's guff? There, that right there, that was guff. <laughs> that was guff? Is this guff too? <laughs> Enough guff. <laughs> this classroom is now a guff-free zone. Also not allowed, twaddle, bunkum, and Tommy ride. <laughs> what a jerk. Shut your pudding hole, Sasquatch. <laughs> Are you teaching this class? No, you are. Wow, the memory really goes at that age. That's it. Go sit in the corner and put on this dunce cap. That's okay. I brought my own. I have a large head, so I had to get a special order for my hatter, which wasn't easy, because he's about as mad as a...
all the racket in here, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Are you lost? <laughs> because Echo could walk you home. <laughs> no, I'm Mr. Elderman, substituting for the cool, hip Mr. Young. There are two Mr. Youngs in this school? <laughs> are you giving me guff? Because you can go stand with him. Nice dunce cap. Who's your hatter? Because mine went mad. <laughs> so, Derby, what you think of your crotchety old substitute? Hey, that's no way to talk about yourself. <laughs> Derby. Yes, Mr. Elderman? It's me. Yeah, yeah, I know, Mr. Elderman. And it's me, Derby. Hey, we can make name tags if you want. Seriously? I'm not really old. Of course, Mr. Alderman. You're only as old as you feel. <sighs> Hello! Who's the liver-spotted love machine? And where do I place my order? <laughs> wow, you've got the butt of a 65-year-old. Uh oh, uh, I'm late for a bingo game. Why go to bingo when your prize is right here? Ah. Uh. Old love. Out of my way, youngster. Bet you're all pretty unhappy to see me again. Instead of your usual fun, hip, super awesome teacher. Actually, I'm glad you're back. You seemed kind of crabby yesterday, so I brought you some stewed prunes. No one's happy unless they're regular. <laughs> well, this will make you happy. We want to show you our plastic bottle project. <laughs> I made a pair of shorts. I made a self-contained hydroponic farm capable of feeding a family for a month. Why would you bother feeding your family? They're just gonna move away, live their fancy lives, and never call you. Unless they need you to babysit when they go on a romantic getaway to Cabo. Hey, Mr. Elderman, check this out. I made a jetpack. Derby, there's a reason jetpacks aren't viable. The weight of the fuel alone. Would... I use metastable metallic hydrogen. I thought its existence was still only theoretical. I know a guy who knows a guy. Anyway, I'll need more room to demonstrate. I'll be outside. Wow, you've really motivated your students. I just yell at them, let them know I'm disappointed. <laughs> they hate me. Ah, they hate me too. And not just a mild hate, a blinding, intense hatred with just a sousson of revulsion. <laughs> it means you're doing a great job. It does? Well, somebody's got to fuel their fires. Hate's a great fuel. Metastable metallic hydrogen is also good. Theoretically. Anyway, I'm sure this will be my last day. I bet Mr. Young will be back tomorrow. Who? Oh, yeah. Uh, I should go drop by his house, see how he's doing. Now? It's not like I'm doing anything around here. Keep up the good work, Mr. E. Uh-oh. I really have to go. Yes, those prunes are working. I mean, I need to take off. Normally I'd give you a lift, but it's really windy out here. Uh oh. Ah! What's your hurry, Murray? Ah! <laughs> Mrs. Bird. Please don't call me Mrs. That makes me feel old. That was the clincher. Why don't you call me? Yes. I'm saying, why don't you call me? You can buy me dinner, and I'll supply the dessert. Uh, I I'm sorry, but I don't have a sweet tooth. In fact, I don't have any teeth. <laughs> Mr. Young, it's Principal Tater. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, it's 
It's harder than it looks. <laughs> Is everything okay in there? Just a minute. Come in. Mr. Young? How are you? Still a little stuffy, just steaming. Good to hear it. <laughs> Mr. Young, I've been thinking about your place at Finnegan High. Oh? You no longer have one, you're fired. What? <laughs> fired, as in terminated. <laughs> Guess that makes me the Terminator. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> but not really, why would I? You're fired. Stay back. I don't want to catch your skin-melting disease. How can you fire me? Easy. I found someone who can do your job better than you. You should see your students <laughs> paying attention, a respectful loathing in their eyes. <laughs> Principal Tater, you've got to give me a chance to prove myself. Why? Because I'm the better teacher. And like you say, excellence always wins out. <laughs> excellence always wins out? I never say that. You just did. I did say it. Excellence always wins out. I say it a lot. In that case, you and Mr. Elderman, a teaching contest. Whoever wins gets the job. A contest? You mean face-to-face? -face? That's right. A face-to-face face-off. <laughs> You've even got a head start. Derby! Oh, Adam, I'm so glad to see you. Can you help me with my project for Mr. Alderman? Derby, don't you get it? You stole his cane? <laughs> Mr. Alderman wears a toupee? No! This is mine! You wear a toupee? Derby, listen to me! Bet you're all pretty unhappy to see me again! That's a terrible Mr. Alderman impersonation. It's more like this. Clean out your noggin flop, young rap scallions. That's pretty good. You know, I can't be two people at the same time, but you could help me out. All it would take is a little makeup. Oh, I know exactly what you have in mind. <laughs> Next time when you say I know exactly what you have in mind, I'm gonna play it safe and tell you anyway. His hair. Doesn't it make you just wanna... <laughs> Still my line of vision. How do you stand it? Welcome to the teacher face-to-face face-off! <laughs> Our first competitor. He's inexperienced, inept, and in over his head, Mr. Young! Woo! <laughs> Ooh, yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> boo! Boo! Now, put your hands together for the inevitable champion. He's old, he's wise, he's regular, <laughs> Mr. Elderman! That's my cue. There you are. I realized the other day that I came across as a bouncy Betty. Can you be a clear Clara? Because I don't know what you're talking about. I'm asking you to ask me to marry you. Marry you? I accept. What? <laughs> we'll honeymoon in Niagara Falls. Then we'll barely leave the room. What? <laughs> then a quick trip to my lawyer so I can make you sole beneficiary in my will. What are we waiting for? Let's get you to a chapel, gorgeous. Oh, there you are, Mr. Elderman. <laughs> okay, round one. Spot the cheater. Three of these students are cheating on their exam. You will each... Her, him, and her. What? <laughs> Enters in her mechanical pencil. Number seven is wrong. <laughs> Enter in 
adventures in invisible ink on his arm. <laughs> Number seven is right. All the rest are wrong. <laughs> and she hired someone to do the test for her. Incredible. Round one goes to Mr. Elderman. <laughs> Derby, what are you doing? You're supposed to lose. Relax. You've got to give the people a show or they'll know the fix is in. It's best of three. I'll let you win the next two. <laughs> okay, round two, emotional awareness. A good educator needs to understand a student's frail psyche and how to exploit it. <laughs> So, let's see who can make a child cry the fastest. Why are you dressed like that? I'm the child. Didn't want this round to be too easy. And I am the toughest, thickest skinned, most unemotional. Cinnamon. <laughs> Why would that make you cry? <laughs> Totally a myth that you can't swallow a teaspoon of cinnamon. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear the word cinnamon again. Cinnamon? <laughs> cinnamon? <laughs> Stop saying that. Seriously, it's so sadistic. <sighs> Round two goes to Mr. Elderman. Cinnamon. What was that? Sorry, I'm very competitive. Besides, how would it look if I lost to a kid? Everyone, meet your new permanent science teacher, Mr. Elderman. M Mr. Elderman can't be the teacher. Why not? He beat you. And as I'm fond of saying, excellence always wins out. But he's not going to be around much longer. I've got nowhere to be. Oh, sure you do. Mr. Elderman is headed to a better place. Private school? Your heart is clearly failing. All the signs are there. A pain in your left arm? I don't have pain in my left arm. Ah, oh, my left arm! Shortness of breath? I can breathe just... Oh. And finally, confusion. I'm not confused. People who are confused confuse their confusion for lack of confusion. <laughs> okay, now I'm confused. I need to sit down. Just close your eyes and drift off to the netherworld. Really, I feel fine. Mitosis is the process by which a eukaryotic cell separates. <laughs> He's with the angels now. Is he snoring? Uh, no, that's just the final escape of his bodily gases. We will miss him. <laughs> and the winner of the teacher competition by default, Adam Young! Yeah, right, Adam Young! <laughs> Thank you all for coming today on this sad, tragic, heartbreaking, upsetting, gloomy, wretched occasion. There, there, Mrs. Fern. This can't be the first man you buried. But I'll never forget Mr. Elderman. <laughs> Where am I? Why am I dressed in black? Lovely flowers. <laughs> we hardly knew Mr. Elderman, and as you can see, we didn't even have a photograph. So I'd like to thank Mrs. Morris, head of the art department, for this portrait. <laughs> Before we conclude this service, would anyone like to say something about the dear departed Mr. Elderman? I would! <laughs> Before I board the big yellow bus to the highest school in the district, <laughs> I want to leave you with this. 
You should listen to Mr. Young. He cares about you. Respect him, do your work, and for the love of stewed prunes, don't give him any gum. Giant bird version of Mr. Elderman is right. We should be nicer to Mr. Young. He's an okay guy. If he's such a great guy, then why isn't he here to pay his respects? Yeah. 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 I, I'm sure he's busy preparing your next lesson, like the good teacher he is. Well, let's call him and find out. That must be the bus driver to the afterlife. That reminds me, I should cancel my cell phone. The roaming charges will be the death of me. See ya. Huh. Adam's not answering. What's his game? I know where he lives. Let's get him! Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! We can't just go charging over to Mr. Young's house. It's gonna be dark soon. We'll need torches! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs>